Now, a troubling story of left-wing intolerance out of South Florida tonight because Fox News politi political analyst Gianno Cal Caldwell says he was asked to leave a Miami cafe over his political views and the discussions he was having with friends while he was at the restaurant. Now, Caldwell tweeted over the weekend, quote, I can't believe what just happened. I met up with friends for breakfast at Paradise Books and Bread in North Miami, and while we were there having discussions about politics, we were told by the owner that we were not welcome there because we aren't politically aligned, uh, out, which is outrageous. You know, now, Paradise Books and Bread, they said in a statement in response, quote, a group of people came in, ordered their food, sat in the inside corner, talked quite loudly for over an hour. A lot of what they were discussing was very troubling, specifically when talking about women in degrading ways, as well as us using eugenic arguments about their thoughts on Roe v. Wade. Once it was clear that they were finished with their meal, we told them that our views don't align and that the language that they were using was unwelcome in our space. They were offended, the vapors. Anyway, none of that sounds very tolerant or inclusive or even believable to me, but that's what they're saying. Here to explain more, the author of, this is a great book, Taken for Granted, uh, our friend, Fox News political analyst, John O'Colwell. Um, I want to just remind people, you lost your little brother and you're moving, you move with your other brother down to Florida to keep your family safe. You're moving yes. other family members down there to keep them safe. Uh, you now have a new calling to help save lives in cities like Chicago, where your innocent brother was, was murdered uh, back in June. You're working with Congress. You're working with John Walsh. You're doing incredible work. It's become a calling for you. You're there. Were you ever talking about anything involving eugenics, anything degrading towards women? Because I know you to be a pretty good Christian. That doesn't sound like you to me. Absolutely not. I was not saying anything like that. And thank you, Sean, for having me and being an advisor to me on my brother since he was murdered back in June. But I'll tell you, Sean, for some on the left, intolerance has become certainly uh, the exception uh, and, and certainly uh, the norm, not the exception. And I'm going to tell you, from what I experienced in that conversation, I met up with some folks that live in my building uh, here in Miami, my first time ever hanging out with them, first time hanging out at this this particular establishment. What we talked about was Fox. How do you like working at Fox was their question to me. Are you a conservative? In fact, I am. I have a book out called Taken for Granted, How Conservatism Can Win Back to America's Liberalism Fail. Get, get a copy. I talked about my brother. I talked about the work that I'm doing with Congress on Capitol Hill for victims of violent crime. Then a uh, owner comes over to the table and she says, I've been listening to your conversation and you are not welcome here. And I said, did I say anything to you that triggered you? She said, no, we're just not politically aligned. How dare her? This is modern day Jim Crow to me. I can't believe that me being a black man in America to give my views on conservatism, which I believe saved my life, my Christian values saved my life and the life of many other people that I know, be told that I cannot be in an establishment this makes no sense to me. If you're not capitulating to their narrative, their views, you are unwelcome. And that should not happen, whether it be in Florida or anywhere in the United States of America. We should be far beyond this. But that's what I experienced on Saturday in this restaurant. It's outrageous. Anything you plan to do? Are you going to sue them? Well, I'm, I'm thinking about what I'm doing next very carefully. People can follow me on social media at Gianno Caldwell for my next steps. But I got to tell you, they've been taking a hammering over on social media. People don't like that because this can happen to anyone that well, happens when does to be a conservative, to anyone especially else's... if you're a black conservative. Exactly. That's a great point, too. And we see this over and over again. When is anybody that works at a restaurant, and I worked at them for, you know, 10 years of my life, uh, give a rip about what somebody's talking about at their table? It's none of your business. It shouldn't be any of this lady's business. She, to me, she seemed like a, from her, how she was moving, like a white progressive. And what I found out is a lot of the folks there in ownership are progressives. But you should not be listening in on your customers. That's called eavesdropping. But that's what she did. And she chose to take that moment to take a stand. And I posted a tweet immediately after, which has had two, over two million views. And now they're in trouble because what she did to me was plain and simple discrimination. 
Again, this is modern day Jim Crow. If you don't go with what the left wants you to go with, if you don't follow their narrative completely, then you're in trouble in their eyes. And that should not be the case for any American. It doesn't matter what color you are. You white, black, or indifferent, you should not be discriminated against. But that's what we saw. But I'm hoping that Governor you know, Ron DeSantis is going to take a very close look at what's going on here, because he said no discrimination yeah. in Florida. And what I saw was discrimination. Well, I'll tell you, I, I, this has happened to me, but I'm angrier when it happens to my friends like you. As I wrote you this weekend, you handled it perfectly. Um, I admire all that you're doing for your family. You had a very tough upbringing yourself. Uh, Gianna, we think the world of you. Thanks for being here. His book, by the way, Amazon.com, Hannity.com. Taken for granted how conservatism can win back the Americans that liberalism failed. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.